So that last frame, John? Yeah, he started with the scoring like he's been doing all week. I mean, as the boys mentioned earlier, his scoring has been superb and uh, he strikes the ball so beautifully with that cue action. But, you know, I, I, when I came here this week, people said to me, last 16, who's going to win? Didn't know. Quarter final, didn't know. Semi final, didn't know. And the final, I don't know. And you employ me as a pundit? I'm saying nothing. Well, to be fair to John, I don't think much, <laughs> many of us know really because uh, it's such a close match contest, is this. I think what will be the test for either player if he goes a couple of frames behind. As I said earlier, both players in the matches have always sort of had that lead and that little bit of a cushion to rely on. We could just go frame for frame, and then it's who holds the nerve at the closing stages better than the other. It could be that close. Both players kind of got a long ball, both players quite a distance away, but it's Neil that's been the unlucky one to leave an easy opener for Sean. Steve Day. Oh, to me, he's looking through the right eye there. I don't know about you, Stephen. He looks more right eye than. But certainly, you would think the dominant eye for Sean is the right eye. It's only Steve Davis could Six. get us involved in this, isn't it? I know. Leave me out, please. <laughs> Well, he went into them very Fourth. aggressively, but has he been unlucky? I mean, he'd settle for just rolling the red to the right middle, but I don't think he can do that. Very unlucky. He went in well, and they, they seem to be opening up nicely enough. Found a decent gap, I suppose you could say. A little bit more pace required, but he's unlucky if he's not on the red to the middle, and he's not. Yeah, I think if you if you asked him, the cue ball went exactly where he wanted it to go. Very unlucky not to be on a red. Sometimes you go into the pack and you don't hit them where you want and you, you still have a moan, but you really don't deserve to be a moan because you haven't played it properly. That time Sean played it properly and it was very unlucky. To settle for the safety, and it's well, a good lens with the cue ball, but he didn't mean to leave this red to the right corner. Although, having looked at it, it's very straight. If it had a slight angle, you could see Neil trying to force the cue ball back up the table, but you can only roll this in dead weight if he plays the pot. Yes, yeah, one of those where you hope to pot the, the red to either side of the pocket. And Hopefully the jaws of the pocket will bring the white out towards the black. One. A fraction to the right would have followed the white in as well. He wouldn't have been too disappointed if the white went in. Yes, the one thing was to get that red away from the corner pocket. That's 
why I always stress the importance of getting a good length with the cue ball near that ball cushion. Because you imagine if he had his hand on the table, he could have screwed back or anything. But once you're tight, it does restrict your options. Neil Robertson, what? Well, that's a pretty good safety. I don't think there's an escape route down the left-hand side of the table. If he plays it down the right-hand side, he's got to be very wary of that red near the right-hand cushion. That could be a blocker for anything not hit quite right. Guaranteed to get this safe. Well, he found a good pass and a decent length. Excellent shot. It's in a spot of bother there. Found a good escape route. Okay, it looks as though this red to the left corner, there you see it, is on. Possibly a slight angle on it to pot it and play for the black, but it's a very dangerous shot. And if he goes for it, he needs to get it. <coughs> well, didn't even hit the red on the right side there. A long way away. Sometimes you can hit them better than that and not go in and get a double kiss. I don't think he's left anything. Good shot, imperative he covered the, the red that's near the ball line, and he's done that. Just looking if he come off that side cushion and hit the red half ball. He'd send the red up this end and the cue ball would stay at that end, but he's got to just this just just right. Mm, that's pretty good. Well, there's always a red, isn't there? It seems to get knocked out. 